But even though he says that evolution was just a made-up claim Yeah, I don't know about you, but that is fucking lame The newspaper called The Scotsman on August 9th, 2007 printed an article with the astonishing heading, quote, African Skulls Find Throws Story of hem Human Evolution into Disarray, unquote. What is actually in disarray is the headline writer's understanding of the article in question and evolutionary theory. To quote from the article, quote, it is the iconic image of human evolution, the gradual transformation over millions of years of an ape-like creature into a tall, modern-day human, unquote. Well, first off, modern-day humans are not only still ape-like, we are also apes. I must also probably note that we humans did not evolve from apes nor monkeys. All of us are apes, including gorillas and orang orangutans, and we all had a common ancestor. That, however, is not why I object to the newspaper article. I object to the following. Quote, But the startling discovery of two fossils in Africa has cast serious doubt on this tra traditional picture, as they prove an earlier form of human called Homo habilis did not evolve into Homo erectus, as previously believed. Instead, the two species lived side by side for hundreds of thousands of years in what is now Kenya, unquote. The rest of the article was accurate as far as I can tell, and well written. What I object to is the belief on the part of the article's author or the newspaper's editor that Homo habilis cannot be an ancestor of Homo erectus merely because they both existed at the same time. Here is what the reporter appears to believe evolutionary theory states. The species Homo habilis evolved into the species Homo erectus, which then evolved into Homo sapiens. This makes evolution a ladder or a chain, which is not how evolution actually works. This false chain concept of evolution implies that the preceding species would cease to exist because it will have evolved into a succeeding species. That ain't how evolution works, and that is not what the latest fossil finds tell us. The new fossil finds are evidence that both species, Homo habilis and Homo erectus, existed at the same time. What the newspaper left out is that Homo habilis fossils have been found that predate Homo erectus. That fact is completely consistent with how evolution actually works. In allopatric speciation, a daughter population splits off from the parent population and becomes geographically isolated. One of the populations then diverges due to mutation and natural selection. That population can be the parent or the daughter. The two populations eventually become reproductively isolated. They can no longer mate and produce fertile children. That means they are now different species. Both species can continue to exist, either still geographically isolated or in the same area when the barrier separating them is removed. In our case, the evidence suggests humans evolved from Homo erectus while the species Homo habilis went extinct. If and when there is no selective pressure to make a parent species go extinct, the parent species is fully capable of persisting in time alongside its descendant species. This means the newspaper article is wrong when it says the coexistence of both Homo erectus and Homo habilis is evidence that Homo habilis is not an ancestor of Homo erectus. It is entirely possible it was not, but coexistence is not evidence that it was not.